Hello Year 4 and welcome back for your English lesson today. This is our fourth lesson of 15 lessons. Once in a Lifetime by John Gulledge. Okay, so before we begin today's lesson, I want you to make sure that you have all your equipment ready that you're going to need today. You'll need a pen or a pencil. You'll need your home learning book or a piece of paper. And you'll need your story map that you drew at the beginning of the week. I want you to go and collect all those things together, then press play and we'll continue the lesson. Press pause now. Super. Okay, so today we are going to be writing our stories. That's what we've been building up to all week. We're going to write it. My turn, write it. Your turn. My turn, write it. Your turn. We're going to retell the story in our own words. And yes, that does mean you can make any changes you want to. Okay, so now let's have a think back to yesterday's lesson and we were learning about expanded noun phrases and we were thinking, well, why do we use expanded noun phrases in our writing? I want you to have a little think, then say your answer out loud and then I'd like you to make a note of your ideas on your home learning book or on your piece of paper. How can you identify expanded noun phrases? And why do we use expanded noun phrases in our writing? Press pause now. Brilliant. Let's have a look first of all at how we identify expanded noun phrases. Here is an expanded noun phrase. My turn, that brave man your turn. My turn, that brave man, your turn. Okay, that brave man, it's an expanded noun phrase. And how do we know it's an expanded noun phrase? Well, that is a determiner. It tells us which noun we're talking about. And then we have an adjective. And that's brave. It is describing the noun and the noun is man. So that brave man is an expanded noun phrase. We're finding out a bit more about that man. That man there. He was brave. Right. So who is your audience? I want us to have a think when we are writing about who we are writing for. You're writing this week, your writing task this week is to write a story for someone in your class. But I want you to think about, well, who will you choose? Who will your story be for? I am going to write my story for Mr. Cheese Wright. I know that Mr. Cheese Wright really likes to read adventure stories. So when I'm writing, I'm going to make sure that I make my story adventurous so that Mr. Cheese Wright really enjoys reading it. I want you to have a little think about who you are going to write your story for. It needs to be someone in your class. It might be a friend or it might be somebody that actually you don't spend a lot of time with, but you'd like to do something special for. Who will you choose? And our story will be based on the film Once in a Lifetime. Who is your audience? Who are you going to be writing for? Great, let's just have a look back to some of the writing that I have done. Suddenly, out from the distance came a wondrous sight like no other. Jack took a closer look and what met his eyes was breathtaking. Approaching through the dense clouds were the strangest animals that he had ever seen, flying sea turtles. 
When Jack saw these magnificent creatures fly past, he realised this was his chance. But he'd have to be quick if he were to ride his ruined ship to safety. And I have identified and highlighted those expanded noun phrases by putting them in red. And they make my writing more descriptive. They really help to create an image, a picture in my reader's head about what is happening. Okay, so our learning objective today is to apply expanded noun phrases in our writing to make our writing more descriptive. And here is our story. These are the main parts of our story. And we really know these main parts now. And that's going to help us when we do our writing, because we've already got a story to write about. And when we are writing, we are going to be really focusing on making sure that we're using expanded noun phrases to make our writing more descriptive. Just have a think about your audience again and who you're writing for. How are you going to really engage and entertain your reader? Okay, so here we've got a word bank. Here are some different words that you could use in your writing. This word here is a bandana. He had a bandana, a scarf around his head. And we have this word here is journey. He's going on a journey. He's going on an adventurous journey. Jacket. Voyage. A voyage is, is a journey as well from one place to another. He's going on a voyage. And intrigued. Really curious. He has his telescope and travel intelligent he might have a beard and he is going to explore he's curious and here we have moustache which is the facial hair on the top of his lip and discover what is he going to discover he's excited and he's nervous he might have a map and some goggles. He may even have a ponytail and he's going off to unknown territory. He's a very knowledgeable man and he's male. And what terrain is he going to find? Where is he going to be going? And he is very kind. So here are some words that you might want to use in your writing. They might be helpful for you. What I want you to do is I want you to start your writing now. You might need to spend about 25, 30 minutes on your writing. You could play some relaxing music in the background, just like we do in class. I'm going to get you to pause the video on this page here because you could have a look and maybe magpie some of my ideas. You should have your story maps out that you did at the beginning of the week. So that's going to help you with the main ideas of what happens. Before you start writing, it could be a good idea to say your ideas out loud, to speak your story again, just to make sure you really know what your story is going to be about. Okay, good luck everyone. Don't forget to use your expanded noun phrases to really create a visual image for your reader and have a think about how, who your audience is. Good luck everyone with your writing and well done. Press pause now. Super, so you have finished writing your story. I want us to stop there now. We're going to be looking at editing it tomorrow. But for now, I just want you to leave your stories and we'll come back and have a look with fresh eyes tomorrow. If you wanted to, you could always record yourself retelling the story again and send it to the class email or for your teacher to listen to or watch. Or you could just have a well-deserved rest 
after all that amazing writing. Okay, look forward to our lesson tomorrow when we are going to edit and publish our writing. Take care. Bye.